your phone should have Android 9 or above. You can check that by going to settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, at the about phone section, open it, go to software information and here it is. If the number is 9 or above, you are good to go. If it isn't, maybe that's why it doesn't connect. If you have an older car model, then you may need only Android 6 as a minimum requirement. Google has raised the minimum version in 2024. My car's Android Auto version is newer and doesn't work from an older phone. But if your car is older and still has an older Android Auto version inside, then maybe the requirement is lower and you can actually connect an Android 6 device. Ok, if your phone is good, and it should be, then what is most likely default is the cable. See, you need a good quality cable for Android Auto to work. Usually a cable that supports fast charging and this USB 3 should work. If it only says that it transfers data or says something like 2 or 3 amps or that is USB 2, then you need a better cable. As I said, go for fast charging and at least USB 3. Those ones should work. There is no official minimum requirement for the cable stated by Google, but car websites and Google itself only say that you should use the manufacturer cable, meaning the cable that came with the phone, because those ones are usually high quality. Also make sure that the cable is connected directly into the USB port of the car and not through a USB hub. In some cases, some minor bugs could be the problem, so you can try to restart your phone and then try to reconnect. To double check that the phone isn't at fault, you can try to connect your friend's phone or someone else's phone into the car and see if that one works. Also, make sure that the infotainment system is turned on and that your car is in P when you try to connect it to the Android Auto. If your phone has worked before and you accidentally pressed no in the prompt to not connect in the future, then go into your settings, type in permissions, permission manager, files and media, see more apps that can access files, and make sure that Android Auto is checked. Another thing you can do is to go to your car's settings and make sure that Android Auto is enabled. Now this is going to be different on each car, but try to find a setting like phone pairing, screen mirroring or apps. Enter the menus and where you find Android Auto, make sure to have the permission enabled to activate when you plug in your phone or a setting similar to that. Each car is different, so you will have to browse the menus yourself and see where the setting is on your car. If everything seems alright in your car settings, then on your phone, go into the Google Play Store and type in Android Auto. Enter the settings. As you can see nowadays, Android Auto is integrated into phones. There is no separate Android Auto app like before. In the app, go to Start Android Auto automatically and put it on Always. If even this hasn't worked, but you connected before, you can go to Previously Connected Cars, press on the car and forget. And then try to reconnect, just like you did the first time when it worked. If what I've shown you until now still hasn't worked, you can try to connect it wirelessly. On your phone, Press and hold the Bluetooth icon, turn on Bluetooth, now on your steering wheel, press and hold the voice command button to open the menu to pair a new phone. On your phone, in the Bluetooth menu, press on scan and scroll down all the way to the bottom of the list. There should be your car. Press it and follow the on-screen instructions to connect. You can see here that it already reads the battery percentage of my phone and tells me that I need to charge it, which is a clear sign that my phone is connected to the car. But beware that you can't mirror your screen unless you do it with a cable. So you have limited functionality only with wireless. If you can connect wirelessly, I recommend you to double check your cable. 
maybe you need a better one. Even if the same cable has worked before and now it isn't working anymore, just try a different one. In most cases, it's the cable's fault. So I insist to try a different cable. That solution is usually the one.